Welcome back and thanks so much for waking up with us on this Monday morning. Diagnosed with brittle bone disease while in the womb, the Spurlocks, well, they could only be hopeful for their unborn son. They knew if Gage survived birth, his life would be a journey full of challenges. And now nine years old, he carries this unbreakable smile that seems to influence those who aren't quite like him. We were told by the doctors that there was something going on. Only 20 weeks into the pregnancy. Well, they had done a um, sonogram and could see that his long bones weren't measuring like they should be. He has started um, having fractures while in the womb. Awaiting the birth of their little boy Gage, Mike and Kim Spurlock were told by doctors there was a great chance he wouldn't survive. He was diagnosed with osteogenesis imperfecta, which is more commonly known as brittle bone disease. Once he was born, we kind of kind of was smooth sailing for about a year. Through it all, the Spurlocks, they were hopeful, but Gage spent most of his early life in and out of Wolfson's Children's Hospital. When Gage turned right at a year old, um, Gage was diagnosed with hydrocephalus. And so we um, had to go back to Wolfson um, and they was it put a shunt inside his head. See him, you know, he doesn't look like a typical baby. I, I knew that he had a serious disease, but in my specialty, you don't get to see me unless you have a serious disease. About a week later, Gage developed double pneumonia. We were in and out probably for an eight month period of time, probably 85% of the time. And um, we faced some of the most um, challenging times as a parent. Every other month, Gage had to receive infusions and medicine to strengthen his bones. But now his health has improved. He's nine years old and he's your typical third grader. They say Gage is falsy in the classroom and his teacher says it's leadership skills. Influencing others, Gage continuously smiles and loves to share his unbreakable spirit. Regardless of what he has faced and uh, he's always happy. With dreams to own a wrestling company someday, Gage isn't allowing his disability to limit his possibilities. Uh, the name Gage, it, it stands for measurement. And I don't think we'll ever be able to measure the amount of lives that Gage's touches and will touch in the future. You see him showing his guns right there. Well, you can see this disease has been, you know, pretty tough on his body, but not so much on his positive smile and spirit. I have to tell you this, Gage recently went to Washington, D.C. on behalf of Wolfson's for Family Advocacy Day, and there he shared his story with multiple U.S. representatives in hopes for more funding to train doctors to protect those similar to him. We have more of his story on our um, website, firstcoastnews.com. All right, Mike Pranley standing by for the check of your morning forecast. Good morning, Mike.